Hello everyone, I'm Becky Goldsmith. Some of you may know me as Piece of Cake. I am both Becky Goldsmith and Piece of Cake. My new book is called Hand Sewing, and I'm really excited about this book. I've written a lot over the last many years about a variety of hand sewing techniques, but never before have they all been together in one book. So hand sewing has really great instruction, really wonderful patterns, really wonderful pictures. That cover, needle turn hand applique, wool applique, English paper piecing, hand piecing, and hand quilting. The quilt that is in the book that has all of these techniques did not start out in my mind as a book. I designed it as a block of the month and I designed it as a block of the month that wasn't finished when I started. I was making the blocks just barely ahead of those who signed up for the block of the month. It was really a fun experience, kind of scary. I for sure had to get it done. But what that means is that you could approach this book as a block of the month as well. For those of you who are familiar with books that I've written in the past, you know that the level of instruction is very good and you'll find that the same is true here in hand sewing. So what's inside? When it comes to applique, I start from the ground up, from how to make templates that are accurate and easy. I've been doing this for years. It's the best way I know how to make templates. To how to make a placement overlay using clear vinyl. What this does is allow you to get your applique pieces in position accurately on the block without ever having to draw on the background. There are clear instructions throughout the book and photographs that show how to trace around your templates on the fabric on a sandboard and that explain how best to cut out your shapes leaving the correct seam allowances for needle turn hand applique. I also explain one of the coolest tricks I know for needle turn hand applique, and that is finger pressing. You always, always, always want to turn that seam allowance under and give it a little press with your fingers, turning the drawn line to the back. What that does is make needle turns so much easier because when you use the needle or a toothpick to turn that edge under, it knows where it needs to go and it turns under more gracefully. I covered the invisible applique stitch in great detail, as well as how to turn an outer point neatly and precisely every time. I explain how you can sew an outer curve without getting unsightly bumps on the outer edges. And this is true on circles or daisy petals, anywhere there's an outer curve. I also show how if you get a pleat, you can fix it so that you will never have unsightly bumps on your circles again. There are cute little basket blocks in this quilt. And the techniques involved in sewing the handles include how to clip and turn under an inner curve and how to sew what are admittedly very narrow little shapes. There's also a section on how to sew inner points. You have to be careful with inner points so that they don't fray out on you, but you can take an inner point and clip it to and through the line to make beautiful sewn inner points that are structurally sound and will hold up to wear and tear. 
but there is more in the hand sewing book than hand applique. There's English paper piecing, which is a really fun hand sewing technique. And one of the things I'm especially excited about is working from patterns that are not pre-cut papers. The instructions in the book explain how to print the patterns onto cardstock and cut out the shapes. One of the beautiful parts about cutting out your own shapes rather than buying them already pre-cut is that if you want to increase or decrease the complexity of a block, you absolutely can. This block is drawn with four different pieces of fabric here, but in this iteration of the block, I decided to combine four and five into one shape because I liked it better. It's really fun to be in control of your own papers. There are plenty of instructions for how to prepare your English papers um, with the fabric that include how big to cut the seam allowances and why you probably want them to be a little bit bigger than a quarter of an inch. I show how to thread based and glue based because I do both. Um, some shapes are better done with glue, some are better done with thread, and let's face it, everybody has personal preferences. I don't just tell people to sew the shapes together. I give clear instruction about how the stitch is made and also cover set-in seams and when you might need to bend the papers and when to take the papers out and how to take the papers out. When you are making a hand sewn quilt, hand piecing comes into it and there are some shapes that are just better to sew with a hand piecing stitch than they are with English paper piecing because it is faster and it's also sturdy and it looks nice. So included in the book are hand, hand piecing techniques that include tracing and cutting out, leaving a correct seam allowance, how to make the stitch, what kind of threads you might choose. There's a lot of information that goes into what is essentially a pretty simple running stitch. If you have gone to the trouble to hand sew a quilt top, wouldn't you like to hand quilt that quilt as well? I know I did. So also included in the book are the instructions for how you layer and baste your quilt, how to prepare the edges so that they're nice and tidy when you're doing your actual hand quilting, and how to make a beautiful hand quilting stitch. I'm seriously into big stitch hand quilting, but this same stitch can be made smaller with shorter needles and finer thread for a traditional um, close stitch. Shop owners, let me speak directly to you because you can have the book in your shop and you know you can kit this in colors similar to what I used or otherwise. But I'm here to tell you that there are notions that you probably don't carry that you should carry that would be perfect. You would not believe the notions I sell from my own website. If you go to my website, if you go to peaceocake.com and just start clicking through, the, the scissors, the needles, the pins, the pencils, the sandboard, there is so much that hand sewers need that most shops just don't carry. So if you stop to think about it, think about it this way, because I do. If you're sewing on the sewing machine, the notions are relatively obvious, and the machine is the thing doing the actual sewing. When you sew by hand, you've got hands, and you need all the other tools to go with these hands to make your project. And most people really would like to have excellent tools to do their hand sewing with. 
I've made a lot of videos that go with the notions that I carry. I don't know that you would necessarily want to um, use my videos in your streams. You're welcome to if you want to. Um, you might, however, use those as a jumping off point. If you haven't looked at these notions before, they'll certainly tell you how they're used. So I encourage you, in addition to carrying the book, to kit it with fabric that is perfect for you and then look at the notions that your customers will want to have. Sewing by hand is one of the most fun things that I do. It allows me to be productive even when I'm on the sofa watching television. And it calms me down. Having something to focus on even amid times of turbulence, it centers me and makes me happy. It is my hope that with this book, you too find the joy that is right there to be had, sewing by hand. Thank you for watching, and may you have many happy stitches.